it is a new week welcome to the vlog um it is july 31st it's the last day of the month and i am on my way to the grocery store it is 7 57 in the morning and we're getting after it because oh this needs to be on this side we're getting after it early today because your girl has a lot of stops to make okay mm -hmm. i think the last time i vlogged before my birthday we had just we were doing grocery shopping too that week so i thought i would start the vlog here so this is what i'm wearing all black like a ninja i have on black biker shorts from amazon a black ladybird t-shirt black lulu jacket black tv sandals my black lv bum bag and yeah oh even have on a black tiffany's ring all black everything we'll see you when i get back i think yeah i've got to go to sam's costco kroger and whole foods almost at target but yeah hey girl so i've been home for about 30 minutes no about an hour and a half and i got on my groceries i just didn't go to costco which i seem to never be able to make it to costco I was getting too tired. My legs were starting to hurt, but I changed. I wasn't gonna do a pool day. Like I literally was just gonna sit at on my couch all day and do some work because I'm supposed to be going to the pool tomorrow. But I was like, it's it's beautiful. It's hot as hell outside. Might as well. So I'm going to go over to the Thompson, chill out over there um, for a little bit and just hang out, see some friends. And yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Bottoms are Amazon, top is Victoria's Secret, top is Pretty Little Thing, but yeah. Hey girlfriend, so yesterday was exhausting, I was up. I think I told you guys this. I got up at 6.30 to go grocery shopping. Grocery shopped. Then went to <clears throat> the pool and um, did the pool club for a few. I ended up, I went at 1.30. I didn't leave until 7. That's how fast time was flying. I met some great people and like time just flew, right? So today's August 1st, Sunday. Do we see what I look like? I'm at... I, I pulled a college, went to the grocery store this morning because I needed coffee pods. I did all that grocery shopping, forgot coffee pods. But I went to the grocery store this morning in an oversized t-shirt, sweatpants, flip-flops, and my chain bag that I wore last night, and a hat. Very next morning college. Let me tell you something. It takes time to decorate your space and to curate the vibe that you want, especially because I was like in such a rustic vibe for so long. Now I'm moving out of that on top of the fact that I'm not a big colors person. So like the fact that I have terracotta bar stools and a emerald green bed frame is very out of my norm. So <clears throat> I'm trying to cultivate different colors within my decor without making it overbearing and too much for me to handle. Um, and on top of that, having I know exactly how I want to decorate my home, like when I buy a house. And I personally just think that decorating a house and decorating an apartment are two different things. And I think that you also have to kind of know your space and like I, the way I want to decorate my home. There's no way that would have worked in this space, mainly because this is going to sound so crazy, but mainly because I have dark like gray dark wood floors and dark cabinets yeah that's really setting the tone in the apartment and it's messing the vibe up so you know I'm trying to work with what i got and when i say messing the vibe up i mean like because the floors are so dark and the cabinets are so dark and like my dresser is dark my tv stand is dark i have to like work extra hard to add in lighter pieces when that's like not my thing like come on my favorite color is black like okay i'm going to clean up my kitchen and make me 
some coffee. Wow, that's a really long nail. Make me some coffee. Make me some breakfast. I'm just watching Aaliyah's face on YouTube. I just posted a real collaboration with Body RX on Instagram. Obviously, this will be like two weeks, three weeks, two weeks until that's um, since that's happened. But go like it, comment, buy some. I have a discount code with them. It's KS Charmin 15 for 15% off. These are their products. Well, this is just the stuff that I have. They have other ones. This is the Control. It's an appetite suppressant. The Renew Energy Drops. I take I take both of these every single day. But I really like these drops. And then the Boosts Metabolism Drops. All right, I'm going to clean. Hey, girlfriend. So, it is a few days later. It's Monday, August second and I just washed my hair um I went to the gym after I got done working washed my hair and now I have like leave-in conditioner and stuff in it and just don't feel like doing it yet or tonight probably um but I wanted to just pop on here and one tell you that the new Alani new energy drink cherry slush flavor so good it's really sweet but I had a huge order from, oh, I perfectly covered my address, but I just got a huge package in from Shein, and I'm actually going to do a try-on haul. I was going to, like, just show you the pieces on a vlog, but I think I just want to, I think I want to do, like, a try-on haul for it, and, like, show you, like, how I would style them, because I got some sets, and then some are, like, bathing suits, and some are, uh, just like tops and bottoms so yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do so for the rest of the night I need to work a little bit more I'm probably gonna move I'm getting like super duper sleepy so I'm probably gonna move my laptop over to the couch or maybe go sit back at the couch help me be more productive I'm gonna go sit back at my desk so yeah I'm gonna try these on and then I'm probably gonna film this video tomorrow um, I got two I got another new foundation in. So I got two new foundations since, well, no, my birthday block. I had, I got a foundation and then I got the Charlotte Tilbury foundation in. I have to post for a collab for that. Um, the pictures are already taken, so I just have to edit them and post it. And then I have another reel coming up. I just posted a reel about the Body RX Complete being in vitamin shop now. Um, and I've been taking the appetite suppressants I want to say for a month now and I am seeing a total change in how much I eat a day which thank god and um it's helping obviously in my toning dream so yeah that's all I got going today um don't really have a too too busy week um I don't think but it is just Monday so if I don't talk to you guys the rest of the night I'll talk to you tomorrow Hey vlog, so it is Tuesday, August 3rd, and I am getting ready to go to the gym. It's a much, much later in the day. It's almost 7.15 at night, and I'm drinking my Lani New pre-workout, which isn't the best, but when I say it's not the best, I mean it's not the best for me to be drinking it at 7 at night, when I'm going to try to go to bed at like 10, 10.30, right? But these core sleep pills from proper um they're cbd sleep pills and they're the broad spectrum 25 milligram broad spectrum if you follow me on instagram which if you don't you already know the drill stop what you're doing follow me come on now you're missing content okay you did it cool so a few months ago proper wanted to um do like a collab with me to do these like just to, to post about these and something happened and we weren't able to do it but they still sent these over for me to try and because they don't have melatonin in them I'm not groggy the next day so they have other things too um like other supplements these are just the sleep ones were just the ones that I wanted simply because we all know I have insomnia and sleep anxiety and it's really hard for me to go to sleep and so when I do work out late at night like this I'll take two of those and it'll help me go right to sleep but I wanted to pop on one let me just tell you about what I'm wearing 
This is from CRZ Yoga. Um, they are an Amazon-based workout yoga brand. I have so many sponsored posts on my Instagram with them. Um, but their clothes are super duper affordable. They have leggings, pants, joggers, um, sports bras, crop tops, long sleeves, jackets, skirts, shorts, everything you can think of. And since I've been wearing their stuff, I haven't bought anything from Lulu because the quality is just that good. Um, they sent me this top and it hasn't really been my favorite to wear without like just by itself. So I wore, I put on another bra with it today, just like, like an Adidas bra. So I wonder if that'll change like the way, maybe I just needed, it just needed to be a little tighter. Cause I have other ones that are kind of like the same, like crop bra like material that I like better. So something about this one, but it, it may be the support in it. Um, and I started buying, like, I found this brand, I don't know how I found it, honestly, on in, on Amazon, but you know I'm like a crack fiend for Amazon. And I found it, and I ordered these black leggings. They're just, like, they are a dupe for sure for the Align leggings from Lulu. And I think I paid, I know I paid like $120 for mine from Lulu, but I wanted a black pair. I have them in gray from Lulu and I wanted a black pair. So I just went on Amazon, found this pair. I paid $30 for this pair and I wear them. I wore them out, but I have like four other pairs of leggings, two other pairs of pants and I love them. They have these black pants. They're like slacks. They almost remind me of like golf pants. My favorite, like I, I think I wear them every day. Yeah, I think I wear them every day. So my hair has been kind of flourishing, my curls. You guys know I just straightened my hair, but like, look at these curls. So I wanted to give you like my updated review on the Pattern Beauty. I know I talked about it on my birthday vlog because that's when I got it. 10 out of 10, right? So I have all the miniature stuff, but I'm going back this week to get the, the right size stuff. So I washed my hair last night. I washed it with the hydration shampoo, which I really like. I put the um, these two conditioners all over my hair, let it sit, washed my body, and then I put the leave-in conditioner in. I split my hair up into four sections and I put the leave-in conditioner on each section. And then I got this Living Proof um, No Frizz Nourishing Style Cream. Um, for my birthday gift from Ulta and I put this on my roots like when I sectioned it off I literally just put it on the roots I don't put it on all of my hair and it seems to be helping like my hair isn't frizzy today so I like it I buy this even though it's given to me I'd buy it um, and then the curl gel the gel you all like look at these curls Granted, I just straightened my hair, so they're trying to, like, my hair is, like, getting, like, reverting back to its uh, natural state. But, like, do you see the how the curls are defined? And I use, that's all, I use the gel. Oh, and I use this. This is the Aussie Miracle Coil Stretching Cream. Let me tell you something. I don't care what anyone says. I have been, I haven't had perms since I was in the seventh grade. But I had a lot of heat damage on my hair and so I was trying to um I've been trying for years to get my hair back to its natural state my hair soaks up moisture like the Sahara Desert like it is so hard for me to keep my hair moisturized and hydrated I started using Aussie three minute moisture conditioner just the conditioner not the not the shampoo on my hair I've been using it every time I wash my hair until recently I started using the Pattern Beauty, but since I was like a sophomore or junior in college, it has done wonders for my hair. So if, I'm not a hairstylist by any means, but if you're in a transitioning phase and you're just not happy with the progress or if it's not really making any progress at all, I would start, I would change up what I'm doing and I would start with the Aussie, it's three dollars for the big thing so it's like you're not really losing in the game um but i've never had a problem with any of their products they work for my hair i have very very thick hair it is um 
I have two curl patterns. Like, it's my curls are tight and they're frizzy. Like, I think it works. So, that's just me. But I love all of the Pattern Beauty products. So, I'm about to go to the gym. Tonight for dinner, it's going to be a late dinner, but tonight for dinner I'm making this like, I don't know the name of it. I'll have to show you. It's like a specific type of, I'm going to hurry up. It's a specific type of pasta, malfadine pasta, like this. It looks like skinny ravioli. And the only place we've been able to buy it is off Amazon. I had to buy three bags of that, four bags of that off Amazon. But I think I only paid, I either paid $16 for the three bags or $30 for the three bags. But me and my mom split it up. So she gave me half, I gave, and then I kept half. Um, and it's this salad, this arugula and malfadine salad. And um, we got it off of vegan meal service company. If you know someone that's going through a death, a birth, a move even, send, that's like the best thing to send them is people always like, what can I send them? What can, how can I help? Food. <laughs> like, but that's the last thing that people tend to think about when they're going through big transitions is to eat. And when they do finally sit down to eat, they don't want to have to stand up all night and cook something. Just think of your people and when you think of them food so yeah that's my little spiel but anyways it's lentils garlic vegan cheese vegan butter malfadine pasta and the arugula you're supposed to eat it cold but i for whatever reason like it warmed up and so i think that's what i'm gonna eat i'm gonna make for dinner tonight so I've just got to hurry up. You guys know I take a long time to work out. So right now it's looking like I ain't going to be back up here till 930. So I got to go. Hey, girlfriend. It is Wednesday, August 4th. And I bet you guys will not be able to guess what I'm about to go do. I'll tell you. I'm going to take a dance class. I know it's been a minute since last time I danced was before I had COVID. So it's been a minute. Um, but I'm going actually one of my old teammates and technically she wasn't my teammate because I wasn't on, we weren't on the team at the same time, but basically she lives here and she takes these dance classes and I'm going to take one with her tonight and I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Um, I think it's jazz funk. You know, I gotta get all my snacks. <laughs> so I'm gonna get going. It's about 6.45. The class starts at 7.30. It's 20 minutes from my house, but I wanna get there and get stretched and get situated. Cause you know, I'm, I don't stretch. I'm a horrible dancer, horrible dance teacher. I do not stretch, um, but I'm gonna need it cause I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. Hi guys, I'm back home. It was such a good class. I sweat so much. I burned so many calories. Um, I, I loved it. Hopefully I'm able to go back next week because then the combo continues. So right now I'm dying. My body is aching. I, luckily I didn't work out today. My body is aching and I'm about to clean my bathtub out so that I can take a shower and then take a bath and just relax for a little bit. Hey girlfriend, it is Saturday, August. I'm gonna say it's August 6th or maybe the 5th. I think it's the 6th. I don't know. So today, just a chill day. I just cleaned up my kitchen. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of shopping today, a little home shopping. So there's a Crate and Barrel outlet here in Dallas. So I'm gonna go there and then I need to run over to Saks to see if I can um, get some hand soap, lotion, and a perfume. And I will take you guys with me, but I will tell you more about the hand soap and perfume if I can get it if I can't get it I don't want to tell you about it because then I don't want people to go buy it and then I can't buy and then I can't get it um but yeah I'm gonna go see if they have it at my sacks if not I'm just gonna order it offline um, I look a mess I literally just woke up I woke up about 9 30 and then went back to sleep um and then got up I cleaned the kitchen like I said I made some coffee already drank that and I need to do my hair and I was trying to figure out what I was gonna wear today Think just some leggings in a tank or maybe leggings in a crop top feeling kind of risky today mm -hmm. 
So I'm back home. This has been like the most mellow week I've had all of 2021. Like I haven't been stressed about shit this week. So, but anyways, so I'm back home. I got me a salad from your local Whole Foods. And I wanted to show you what I got. So I stopped at the Crane Barrel Outlet. I was able to find some things. I'm never going on a Saturday again. I will definitely go on a weekday because I did find a good amount of stuff. So I only got two glass coffee mugs and two wine glasses because I wasn't in love with the wine glasses because I'm in love with the wine glasses that I got from Old Time Pottery, but they don't have an Old Time Pottery here, which I found out are a dupe, the ones that I bought, are a dupe for the ones from Craig Barrel. I didn't know that, but mine were a dollar. The ones at Craig and Barrel are $18, so I refused. I, w I would rather drive to an old time pottery and pay a dollar for my wine glasses again, then pay $18 for each one. That's like $60 for a whole set. No, no, no. And I was getting pissed off because there were so many people there and when people mosey around, it annoys me. Like, I personally don't like shopping. So if I'm going shopping, I'm going to buy something. I'm not going to like, oh, let's just see what they got. No, I'm not doing that. I'd rather sit on my couch. So when I go to shop and people mosey around, it really annoys me. And it, that was starting to happen around the glassware, which was pissing me off. So I just bought two. So I have my little recipe right here. And I'll tell you how much everything costs. I got the Natty Red wine glasses. They were, they're 18 ounce wine glasses. They were $3.95. $3.95 a glass. And this is what they look like. They're kind of, they're short. So there's a 12 ounce and an 18 ounce. And then, these are what I was very excited about. These are the Moderno coffee mugs. I think they're, they were 350 a piece. And the reason I didn't buy four of these is because I'm a coffee mug hoarder. Like I'm a cup hoarder. I have a whole nother cabinet full of cups. Like that's how many cups I have. I told myself only buy two, you, my mom told me I wasn't allowed to buy any more glasses until I got rid of some. So these, they're so nice. Look at that, and they're heavy. That's another thing, like they're they're nice and heavy. So I got two of these. It's giving very, my house isn't gonna be fully decorated until my lease is up vibes right now. <laughs> okay, next thing. So you should know by now that I'm not a big lotion person. I don't like being moisturized. Yes, that's weird, but personally, I just I just don't like it. I don't like feeling sticky. I guess just growing up in the South and being extremely humid all the time, I just, it makes me feel disgusting. Like I can't stand it. I'm not, I don't like it. So I've, I've started to force myself to liking lotions and I do use baby oil. Um, and I do use a little bit of Jergens, but like I have on leggings today. It's like almost 100 degrees outside. I have on leggings simply because I didn't want to put on lotion on my legs. So when I stayed at the Thompson, this is what I was talking about earlier when I was like, I don't know if I'm going to say anything because I don't know if I can find it here. Well, I found it. In all of their rooms, the little knickknack like shower lotion, soaps, and all of that is made by the brand DS and Durga. You all, it smells so good and it's i think it's an a, an acquired smell it remind it's like very like leather bourbon rustic tobacco um fire like that type of smell and that is my jam if you that's the part of rustic that i will never let go those are my favorite types of candles like favorite type of candles so this is the lotion that they have at the Thompson. It's called, it's in the um, fragrance Bow Makers and they have it in a, um, they have it in a cologne or they call it a perfume, but they have it in a fragrance. And I wasn't sure, I, was, I found it online last night and I was just gonna order it. Well, I wasn't sure if the lotion would transcend to a fragrance on, and I would like it, right? So I was like, okay, let me see if they have it. I knew they sell it. I know they sell it at Saks. So I was like, let me go tomorrow when I do my little excursion. So today, well, hmm, fun fact. 
there's not a sax here. I'm not driving all the way out to Frisco. I think there's a sax in Frisco. I'm not driving all the way out there. You guys know I'm a candle hoa. They have candles, hand sanitizer, hand soap, um, body soap, fragrances, car air fresheners. Yeah. I went in looking for a looking for a perfume. I came out with two of the candles. <laughs> so this is the first one. It's called Portable Fireplace, and this one's from DS and Durga. Oh my god, it smells just like, literally just like a fireplace. This is what it smells like, or it smells like this is what it looks like. So it's a seven fluid ounce perfumed candle, and it retails for sixty-five dollars. And then there was another brand that was sitting right next to it that also has cologne. Um, and I'm going to butcher the name. Malin and Goats? I'll put it on the screen. Um, and this one is in the scent Leather. And this one's nine fluid ounces. It smells so good. This is what it looks like. So this one retails for $55. One of my biggest goals is to get to at least 500 subscribers. No, it's too small. We're gonna dream big. A thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And so I'm trying to push out content as much as I can and stay consistent. And I have reached and crushed so many of my goals since November and since last November. And it's, we still have three months to go to the next November. And so I want to go ahead and um, make some goals for the month of August and make some goals to reach for um, from now into November and now until the end of the year because I got I got things to do, okay? Um, and post good stuff. I've been getting such great feedback from you guys about the quality of the content and about the edits and things like that. And you like it so much better. And I'm so appreciative and I'm so grateful that you think what I'm doing is good. Thank you.